so we have a new toy um, this is a similar motor uh, like we already have with this kind of fan here at the back um, the problem is uh, there is a gearbox in here uh, like it's directly attached to the casing like there's an, that's part of the motor case and I don't know can you see that they're just well there's nothing here so this isn't just bearing housing and then the shaft comes out no this is like part of the bearing uh, gearbox I didn't take it apart yet because it's, it's kind of dirty and that might be uh, a lot of effort <coughs> to get it back together um, the thing is it's not very fast, so I'm still wondering what the hell I'm going to do with it. Um, what it does have is a big run cap, as you see here, and a control panel, and a directional switch. So, eh, let me hold that. So you have the fuse over here. You have a on-off thing that latches, and when you turn this to uh, the back direction this one doesn't latch so this um, is meant to run in only one direction but you can reverse it if you need to but when you hold the button so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this <laughs> how uh, where am I going to use something that is extremely slow and pretty powerful like I don't know <laughs> you would think it may be a press basically but I, I don't have anything also a press would probably block that at some point or it would destroy itself because it just <coughs> stays on so not exactly uh, something that I would want to have on a press so still thinking no idea what I'm going to use it for, but it's here. It runs. Uh, it apparently also pulls a lot of power when switched on. So the lights dim, but that could also be because of the electrical installation here. That isn't really up to code. I might have to replace it at some point because there's like two wires coming into the workshop here. And I don't really know. Can you see that? Yeah, you see that up here. There's two wires coming in, I have no idea why there's two, and why one of them goes over there and one stays here. And maybe it's light and the sockets separated, but I don't know. Anyway, new toy, and that's basically it, because I don't have to take it apart, it works, it doesn't have a bearing failure. Which would be a bitch, I mean I could get the back thing off, but if I have a bearing failure in here, that's gonna be a pain. Like if I turn this now, you can see it slowly rotate. So there is <laughs> quite a lot of turns you have to do here for this to turn at any speed. <coughs> but yeah. Okay, so that's it for this video. Bye.